okay. I think it's, um, we left at a cliffhanger a bit. There it is. Um, I, know, I remember what happened at the end. What happened at the beginning of our... You guys uh, did some more research into the area and the, the ogres. Um, you got some information on what might have happened to the ogres, something involving um, some sort of uh, lich or vampire or some powerful um, undead or negative entity which has um, afflicted or controlled or manipulated or changed uh, the culture and the ogres themselves. Um, the ogrepedes, we've seen two now, so the first one wasn't a unique entity, um, are a, um, a repercussion of that. Who named him Ripperoni? Who put Ripperoni on Pharaoh? <laughs> I mean, accurate. He deserves more respect to that. Does he? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I like him. He just like I liked Pharaoh? him. I mean, uh, yeah. it, it was in red, so I assume it was you. No. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you guys came back, and in the middle of the night, while uh, Hork was asleep, and Madeline was watching Hork sleep, and Callie was doing something which I cannot remember, and Lucira was outside doing something I can't remember. Um, Lucera saw a, a figure shown here. I just made it bigger. Um, pop out, teleport out. And it is very clear to Lucera that they are the same race as Madeline. Can I remember the damn Shardarkai? That's it. Shardarkai. Elves, elves, which have a um a tie to, uh the, God, was it Shadow Realm? Plane of Shadows. Plane of Shadows. Thank you. Plane of Shadows. Um, a teleporting out of there and fleeing and escape, uh, escaping. Uh, apparently well prepared. They use spells and uh, trickery to get out of there. Uh, at which point, at which point. Pharaoh was found deceased within his small little room with uh, two things of note. The map which he had has been taken, as well as a purple dyed handprint on Pharaoh, on his, uh, his like, clothing, um, as well as Pharaoh being dead. <clears throat> I think that's where we left off. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. No, um, I see Callie has Revivify in chat. I'm gonna assume I don't remember that being there, so I don't think we had that in the game. Hmm. I don't even remember clicking that. Um, oh, the um, that's right. Now I'm now I remember the um, the the guard, the guards have shown up with extra settlers and gold, um, or to pick up the gold and bring it back. Um, yes. the gold that the dwarves have been, the Durgar have been digging up. That's what I forgot to mention. Uh, the plan was for them to set up in the morning, um, but now this has happened, so we'll see. Yes, we will. Okay. Um, oh, what? Yeah, I'm trying to think, think how to start this. I think the discussion <laughs> we were having at the very end was now that Faro seems Faro is not seem to be is dead. Um, who yeah, I think we, I think we had is in. I think Melendrek was uh, examining the body as well as Yali. And Lucir had just come back from trying to chase down the uh, Shutter Kai. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I, I was the one that kicked yeah. the door into yeah. uh, Faro's room. But yeah, um, pretty much. Yeah. Um, we just sort so, of got there. I think, yeah, Kali made that history check, but I don't recall exactly what came from it. I think it was just like. Something to do with the symbol. Um, the control flames. Yeah. Um, I can't quite remember what that was. It was probably 
because I, I remember Madeline was asking about the purple handprint, and I said, yeah, that the, that the purple it. dye has like cultural uh, relevance. Uh, it's used for a lot of like cultural ceremonies, like, like marking up a person of honor or something like that. Or um, you know that it is also used for um, like if someone's coming of age, they're coming of age ritual. They'll like they'll they'll paint um, glyphs and runes in that ink. Um, but yeah, so the guard captain, the guards who came with you all, um, are standing outside of the, the shed, uh, Callie and, uh, Melendrek, um, examining the body. <clears throat> and I guess everyone's just sort of waiting outside, um, Kelly, do I have that right? I, I, I seem to recall. Do you have medical as a skill? I do have medicine, yes. I thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, could you give me... Uh, could you DM roll me a medicine check? Oh, good enough. <laughs> That's I clicked to GM on the sheet, and... Um, you seen, you see, no, that's fine. Um, it wasn't terribly critical. Um, you see no puncture marks or anything like that. You don't see any burns. Um, if it was some sort of magical, it was a more subtle sort of magic would have killed him. If it was magic that killed him. Um, but 14, you're not able to figure out what it is that actually caused Pharaoh's death. Hmm. Um, Melendric no, no outward has... sign of any fighting, no. no outward wounds. He looks peaceful. <laughs> uh, Melendric comes to a similar conclusion of he's not entirely sure either. Um. Well, Kali will just talk to Melendric. So, well, if we wait till tomorrow morning, I'll I'll cast something to see if he had any poison on him. Or if it was some sort of illness. I doubt it's an illness. It'd be very poor timing. But I do not expect it to be an illness. I was chasing in through the from from the camp. I suspect, and um, from a, I, I remember really, I there was like a large feather or something that I picked up where they teleported. Oh, yes, there was, they raven, there was there was there was a raven's feather. Um, as it. as a um consequence of the Shard Archive's teleportation. Um, I believe you've seen Madeline teleport before, and Madeline yes, has a similar sort of thing. Um, yeah. The feather lasts for about an hour, and it, it just gradually will sort of wilt and disintegrate. It's oh. not a permanent part of this world. Okay. Um, it's sort of an artifact of a tie to the Shadow Fell. Shadow Fell? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Shadow. I I think Shadowfell yeah, is its like Shadow. official D and D name, uh, yeah. along with the Plane of Shadows. It sort of. Yeah, I don't want to say Shadow Realm because that's like Yu Gi Oh stuff. Yeah, that is going to the Shadow <laughs> Realm. We're playing a Shadow <laughs> we, game. We go to the Shadowfell and randomly Yugi's grandpa's name. <laughs> <laughs> Walk up to MC. <laughs> ah, yes. As you're walking through the Shadow, the Plane of Shadows, you see these people. They seem to be playing a card game. You're not quite sure. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Back, back on track. Um, I do not expect a chassis through the. It seems as though we are not alone here. And if it were to be illness or something, then I do not expect that the map would be missing. Mm. It seems he was killed for a reason. Well, tomorrow I'll... Tomorrow I'll see if there's any poison in his system. Maybe his food was spiked or something. It's hard to tell right now. Melendric no, just sort of nods and, well, none of the rest of us have been poisoned, so it would be odd. It would be odd for them to go after Pharaoh specifically, unless they knew he was the leader. We don't necessarily have walls around here. Him giving people orders would be easy to spot from afar. Mm -hmm. Which means that they would have been watching for a while. These uh, people, they are <clears throat> the one that snuck into camp. It was certainly not, I think, because 
they are seem to be very good at what they do to sneak in past the guards, past all of us, to only be seen on their way out. Mm. Still, <clears throat> it seems as though whatever we have found the remnants of Shadow Kai that have been living in this region, ruins and things from long ago. But it seems as though not all of them are dead. Yeah. The question but now is how much do they want us dead? Well, they have attacked us, so no matter what, we will return the courtesy eventually. If they wanted us dead, then I believe more of us would be dead than just one. I think it is more of a targeted attack. Their intentions are irrelevant. Uh, fuck me, okay. Um, it will their intentions are Ill, Ill. The, the intentions do not matter. Go avoid that word. Um, <laughs> you couldn't say irrelevant, could you? I can't say irrelevant in that accent. It just come. It just say purple burglar alarm up. that accent. The intentions do not matter. They have attacked us and they have killed us, or they've killed one of us. We shall take it. We shall take their life back. A life for a life, no? I agree. Any little problem with this? It is clear they have declared themselves an enemy of this expedition, and therefore we must fight the enemy. That they have. And because I like smirk, happy grin, full of teeth. <laughs> um, are, are you guys having this conversation inside the shed with just you guys, or outside with um, the rest of the group, with like the rest of the people? They with people. Oh, right, we should probably inform them. Um, I, I, right. I consider this like a walking conversation sort of thing. Yeah, I, I don't know where we are, but... Yeah, I mean, uh, I think, because I don't remember, you said the guards had showed up, so I don't know if they're explaining the situation or what, or... Um, anyway. Yeah, but they were, like, medical examination and magical examination were going on, so they... Yeah, okay. They, they know to stay out of people's, like, out of, out of people's ways. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, we have not been able to discover except the exact means of. Oh yeah, I guess we'll sort of go explain the situation then properly then. Okay. Yeah. Um, Armand, Armand, the um, the knight is there. Um, the rest of the guards are around, but they're sort of like watching the perimeter. Um, and um, as soon as you you guys having this conversation and you're leaving, as you open the door to walk outside, uh, Armand is there as well. Um, and he steps up while having this conversation and is is. Pharaoh dead fully then? Yes. Yep. Um, is yeah, there anything that can be done? He's rather important to this whole process. Not oh, within my power. Shrugs. Hmm. No. I, mean, I do not wish to overstep, but we are in a land that is known for the dead returning in a way that we might not wish. Perhaps we should cremate his body. Perhaps so. But if he comes back, we can handle that then. It's just what it is. I but, like no, roll. It... I like kind of like roll a religion or something to see to see what kind of burial him or his people would have liked. Whether that be history yeah, or sure. religion or uh, religion. That'd be absolutely be religion. Crazy. I'll um assist. Um wait 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 uh Kelly you're um you're a druid aren't you? Yes. Uh you don't need a role in this. Uh Pharaoh was also a druid. Um any sort of return to nature is fine. Any if you um yeah even even burning him, I mean he still returns to nature in that form. Him being an actual body, not really that ma like not really relevant to it. Um, his spirit's gone, essentially, so it's fine. Yeah, then, yeah, burning is fine. Well, I mean, there are spells that could restore him to life, but I mean, that is certainly outside of, or that is outside our mm -hmm. 
mm. skill set at the moment. Uh, I understand it's important, but if you really need to, the company will be able to uh, get these services of one who could cast such a spell. But mm. I have no doubt it would be pricey. Well, we should tie him up in case uh, if he does come back. Just, 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 just gets a shark. He's he's dead. Just not living up. Yeah. Well, we're hauling cargo back. I suppose a body would be fine as well. Is there anything we can do? Sorry. Is there anything we can do to preserve it? Because it, it may take days to get back, and that is um, not. Uh, yeah. Give me tomorrow. Do give, give me tomorrow, and I can. Okay. okay. Yeah, um, now I do need to bring up one other thing. Um, the timing of this death is extremely convenient, considering on the morrow morning we are leaving with a shipment. Our how to say? I'm don't mean to be disrespectful to Pharaoh, but could this just be a distraction? Well, uh, Lucira, you said that the intruder had the map, right? That they did. Oh, uh, uh, or... no, I didn't. I haven't seen. I didn't see the map. Actually, no, I did see the map, didn't I? I saw. I saw that they had it. Is, it. it is. Yes. Uh, it so is. I've got that stupid high. I think I got that natural twenty on Sora or something like that, didn't I? Um, yeah. Well, yeah. It's yeah, it's clear to everyone. <laughs> I, I, I saw, so yeah, they did. Um, <clears throat> yes, I saw, them, I saw they had taken, they had, in the place they had taken that map if they had some other reason to do so, but mm, a death by the, a, just, a murder for I'm distraction. Two minutes. All right, yeah, a murder for distraction doesn't usually include theft. Also, to be a distraction, you'd usually want, if you were to throw your set, there would be more showy. A Good. fire. More, a fire, more brutal a death. A, the day did not seem a grisly death, it seemed almost peaceful. It would be an unusual situation. If you truly wanted to throw us off, they would want to make it as horrific as possible, no? Alan, uh, thoughts? I'm if this right. is some sort of distraction, then it would be a delaying tactic of some kind. But it occurs to me that we have marked out several relevant landmarks to Vampiric and Shadow Kai. Uh, Shall we say cousins? Perhaps they are seeking these tombs, these relics. Perhaps there is something there that is important to them. Kali mm. just like freezes for a moment and then looks at everyone else and just says, The vampire. Did at that we... point, Armand <laughs> works up. What? What vampire? Uh, in one of the potential uh, uh, settling <clears throat> on one of the potential settling sites, it was a very, very old set of ruins, ancient in fact, and it seemed as though there was potential. Oh, there was a vampire still mm, as alive as the vampire ever is. But entombed. Held in entombed and held in stasis, it could not move. And it, but um, would Pharaoh have marked that vampire down? Would he? Would he? We don't, we don't know. You wouldn't know. Yeah, he doesn't. No. Yeah, he... But, but he definitely would have marked down. That there was like some kind of ruins there. Yeah, probably. 
that, that it was, it was the location we we uh, scouted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I doubt that would have mattered that. It is potential they are still there. The um, markings and the writing on the wall who said it was Shadow Kai. There, no? Um, the markings of the wall were a mix of Shadow Kai and uh, Abyssal. Or is it Abyssal? Immortal? Not Abyssal. One of you motherfuckers speaks it. Umbral. Umbral, Umbral. thank you. Umbral. Yeah, Yeah, Umbral. Yeah, Madeline speaks both of them. So it it, it could be derived as like early Shadar Kai when it started to break off from Umbral. Yeah. So it has some interest in that, but it is too uh, difficult to tell. If it is, then we could potentially scout that. On our way back and see, but if this was meant to be a distraction, it isn't really not a lot we can do other than spring that trap. It mm-hmm. be, I mean, unless you are willing to stay here for the rest of time, then we have to leave eventually. We may as well do it right away. Not like we can get any other word out. Yeah, Ar- Armand will nod and. Um, if there is a trap, then I think it would be best if we all went together. But what I mean to say is that you four would come along with the guards to make sure that the gold gets to the ship. I mean, that was makes sense. More or less the plan anyway, wasn't it? <laughs> but yeah, that's what it was. Up, it was up to my discretion, depending on what it would be or what the situation was mm-hmm. originally i was planning it seemed safe enough that i we could just return back well you know it was the, it seems so in the beginning apart from that one area to the west in the deep light bands but perhaps it is best and if there is someone that wishes to attack us then they shall learn very quickly that is not a wise decision Okay. Um, we have a journey ahead. I think with that, we will go back to bed. You all do what you wish, I think is best. And then in the morning, we'll sort things out. As you wish. Okay. okay. Cool. Uh, so we'll take a much more active role on guard tonight now. Uh, I don't expect anything to happen, but just in case, she's not going to be like reading her book. She will actually be like searching in the surrounding area just in case. Hiding in a bush. More or less. Again, I don't expect anything to happen tonight, but that's like someone snuck past. Yeah. Gonna keep an eye out this time. Fair enough. For any uh, more case, so if you kind of fucking stung my pride by sneaking past, less than she's more upset about that. Room. She murders because, bitch, you got past me. Yeah. Literally, yeah. That that stings more than Pharaoh dying. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, just sorry. How many days will the trip take again? Uh, two. Uh, okay. Uh, two, two Ooh, there. Uh, two. I don't remember. Was that because we're weighed down by the wagon? Aren't we? Uh, true. But now you're weighed down with the wagon of gold. Yeah, exactly. So like. I mean, that's what I mean. Is is it going to be the same time or heavier or about two days? Okay. Okay. Um, right, okay. So still two days. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you guys, you guys don't sleep. You're weird. So probably a day back. <laughs> yeah. No, I, yeah. I, that's what I meant. But as, just in terms of the travel with the wagon, I thought it might be slower than that. But if that's still two days. That's... Mm. So just for the first day, I would. I'm going to change two of my spells, one to detect poison disease and the other to uh, the other to gentle repose. Sure. Uh, 5e um, detect poison and disease. Can we just back mm-hmm. everything in? I forgot you could do that. Yes, please.
Okay. That on for Pharaoh's body. Yeah. Um, so Pharaoh, I had to say, um, you detect no disease on Pharaoh. Um, poison, you detect it initially. But does it tell you where? It says the kind of poison. Yeah. Okay. Um, you, 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 you can't see the presence and location. Pharaoh has a Pharaoh has a small dirk, and the dirk itself is covered in poison, but his corpse is free of poison. Okay. Um, so yeah, Callie that, that, that it seems like Pharaoh wasn't poisoned. I detect no poison in his body. No, the one that he is his, is his poison poisoned dagger. blade. Yeah. Okay. So. This is more a retroactive thing because uh, Dawn isn't here. Obviously, he uses knives. He might be interested in a poison blade. Um, just so we can put a pin in that. Obviously, we can't answer that. We and as soon as you can find him, you can ask him about it. But exactly. <laughs> as soon as we ask. Ever since the murder, he's been very hard to find. <gasps> he was the murderer. Get him. He was a six foot tall shorter guy the whole time. That would just be that would just be the best cover story for him though ever. You can just pin it on the Shadow Kai. Maybe the Shadow Kai was trying to stop him. We don't know. Maybe the, the Shadow Kai <laughs> should be the hero here. <laughs> I say we find Hart and kill him just to be sure. I hate to be the defender of the little man, but unfortunately I was an inch away from him all night long. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting that gold. <laughs> mm. oh. No, no, okay. That'll be out of cap. Anyway. Um, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Get. <laughs> Ignore uh, that. Nothing happened. And I gentle repose Pharaoh's body. <laughs> that just preserves his corpse, right? Uh, it's it's uh, 10 yeah. days. Prepare from decay. Can't become undead. Okay, boys. I believe it's a fifty percent chance of being raised. Is that? I think that's what it is, right? I don't know. You never give us the mechanics of it. Well, hold on. I never gave you the mechanics. No, 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 no. Cipher. <laughs> Cipher. I don't think Cipher ever gave us the exact mechanics. He just said it, it was a chance of happening. Um, do you want to do one out of four? Okay, that, one out of four. It is one out of four. Well, it's four. For what? It, uh, for the the chance he comes back as undead. Gentle repose can't become undead. Oh, yeah, it's, I said it there. It's the ten days can uh, no decay it can't become undead. But you had to wait the whole night for that to happen, right? True. So you can roll for that period. Uh, I mean, does it happen specifically at dawn or with no whatever? Um, matter. You I think it like happens you... within the. From what I remember, it happens within the hour. Okay, go for it. One d four uh, at one, he becomes a zombie. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> Arrow. Right. <laughs> but then we tied him up and he's alive. Pharaoh, who killed you? Oh, you raised it. Oh, he's eating me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> when you're in PC just now, as it okay, Armin puts a bag over his head. <laughs> uh, Dude, I mean, we've all seen uh, Shaun of the Dead, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. You need to keep <laughs> the shed in the back. on the wagon, don't dead, open inside. <laughs> All right, we can just kill him again, right? It's yeah, fine. Like, like yeah. Just... Uh, well, it's, not like this, it's not like the corpse disintegrates. It doesn't stop the resurrection in, in any yeah, way. I think you just cut his head off. I think that doesn't really get in the way of resurrection, does it? Uh, depends Bull. on the spell. Thanks, Cut, Bull. Cut off the head will make it need a higher casting spell, I think. I think is I if know, you just okay. have the head at, like connected to the body, isn't just against it, a full uh, resurrection will bring him back. Uh, anyway, uh, but I can just stab him through the torso with an anti undead blade if I need to. I can crush his skull in with sh shillelagh. Y yes, but that's more messy. There's a bag on his head. It's still messy. <laughs> <laughs> Get, let me okay. have this opportunity to stab Pharaoh. So is this conversation happening? In game, because <laughs> Armin is there. Yeah, because we're, okay, we're discussing exactly. how to pacify him. Yeah, yes. 
Not this exact conversation. This is more out of character, but yeah, like just it's quite disgusting. Man. It's like <clears throat> it'll probably be quicker and easier to just deal with the blade. Uh, uh, right then. Okay, <laughs> Armin's like. This is not my area of expertise. If you know what you're doing, go ahead. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do anything. Well, we could leave it if you wish, but I hit him with lightning. Um, that is messy. Um, yeah, like from what Lucia knows, she knows a lot about magic. I presume she'll know that, like, if she's just stabbing him through it, it won't like change anything in the resurrection, will it? I don't know. I've never resurrected anyone. Okay, hang on. Let's look this up. I have to remember how D and D spells resurrection. Uh, revivify is for immediate. Raise dead is a fifth level spell. Let's look at that. Which doesn't bring up back the person; it just raises them as like a thrall. No, 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 no. The raised dead is no. the back. raised dead is the one. It's really poorly named. Oh, okay. Uh, no longer than ten days. Probably not going to help you helpful either, because. <clears throat> um, uh, and that yeah. one also doesn't restore body parts, so there's another one. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't don't cut the head off. Yeah, he, uh, uh, Armin, Armin can get him back to the cap on ten days. Oh, grand. Okay. Uh, no cutting head off. Yeah, this resurrection is my opinion too. But yeah, uh, just, just also it will should probably keep him good longer. It is the anti undead blade. So yeah, I mean he's tied up. Let's, I'll just go and put him out of his misery. Oh, more accurately, put him out of my misery. Yeah, he's still <laughs> in the shed. <clears throat> Take fire you know behind what? the woodshed. Yeah, yeah. Zombie Look, think you of know, the rabbits. Think of the rabbits. We're, we're doing this. We're doing this. So, um, yeah, everyone, uh, you said you are going to take care of it. Everyone is going to leave the shed for you to take care of. Tied up, uh, Pharaoh, zombie, laying on the ground there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, do, you, so, do you want yeah, to, you, to, to do you, it? Let's hear you speak. Yes. Very I, I'm much fine with this. I am perfectly... Literally, this is an inconvenience at most. Okay? Uh, so, yeah. Just going to... Stab him with stab him blade. repeatedly in the okay. I may... uh, okay sure. Just like I presume, put his her boot on the back of his skull so, put it in, and just stab him with the back of the chest. So can I, I have a question. Use the blade. Are you using the sword? Yes. Okay, he catches on fire. It does that to all undead. Yeah, and but you you stab. Him. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I can, put so a, I can put the fire out afterwards, but okay. So it's not like it, they don't they don't fully burst into flames, right? Um, they become engulfed in flames for a turn, I guess. I, I yeah, I guess it would go out. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> I mean, anyways, Lucera, everyone, Lucera everyone, everyone... Seen, right? Lucera has seen enough that this won't stop the resurrection anyway. It's just yeah, quicker and efficient. It's fine. just quick and efficient. Let's yeah. get out of the way. Everyone, everyone leaves the room. Door yep. closes and they just see uh, blue flame. Flash of light. Ignite a flash of light. <laughs> and then he walks out like, light. done. Callie walks back outside with um, either dragging or having Pharaoh's corpse over the shoulder. Absolutely just dragging it along. Dragon, this singed and smoky meat man. Yeah, um, like picture it like <laughs> yep. back of the scruff or back, like sort of the back of the shirt and like lifting it. At her sort of waist high, and then just dragging it along. Like, yeah, look. so yeah, there is the villagers zero are there. Zero ceremony to this. Yeah, no, the rest of the villagers are there, and the people who uh, who just showed up uh, don't know what's going on quite so much. But uh, Zar and Erdov, uh, Bill and Ted, and the well, the Durgas don't really give a fuck. But uh, <laughs> Zar and Erdov and Bill and Ted seem uh, uh, disgusted, <laughs> disheartened. This Dragon. is not. This is not how you treat the yes, demoralized. Uh, yeah, what I'm hearing is a bunch of them problems. Yeah. So okay. when uh, yeah. when Lucira like puts Pharaoh down, eventually Callie will actually you know 
try to tend to Pharaoh with some modicum of respect. No, if if you want no, to no, take, no, 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 if no, you want no. to take him from Lucera, Lucera will not care. She will oh, absolutely oh, yeah. give him to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, Lucera. She will hand him over to you at the earliest opportunity. Um would, would gentle repose work now? Sure. Yes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I have so. a question. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Um Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't a body turning into undead mean that their spirit and whatnot is all gone? So um, resurrection won't work after they've turned into an undead. Raised undead does not mean uh, does not um, mention anything about that. So I'm not going to say no. Um, anyways, the the at death the body the soul is removed from the body in like all sources of lore I'm aware of, and Resurrection is calling the spirit back into the body. Right. Yeah, the main okay. thing is if the spirit is willing and able to come back yeah. to the body. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah. Yes. Um, so I'm going to wrap so Pharaoh this... in like, some cloth and gentle repose him and such. Yeah, uh, um, Armand and the guards, after seeing this, and then you, you like trying to like wrap him up, will just all come over and lift up the body and place him respectfully into the cart of uh, gold bullion. Metal, a druid's um, favorite. Yeah, well, you know what? You make do. Uh, <laughs> I want to be... I want to be. He wants to complain. He's perfectly willing. He's perfectly able to do so. Or allowed to do so. He's allowed to. Yeah, he's unable. <laughs> yeah. He's allowed to. <laughs> that, that's, that's on him. Listen. <laughs> If it also means if he's not able to, if he's not able to complain, he's also not able to disagree. So it's all good. Yeah, sounds good. Um, okay. Yeah, Armand. Uh, okay. Um, the the Durgar are all there. Armand's going to just give general orders to everyone else that, like, while they're gone, um, no leaving the town. Um, no one goes out. You know, everyone, everyone be safe. Um, if you need, if if things get bad, just try to leave some sort of note telling us where you've run off to. Um, the woods maybe are a decent place to hide off if it gets really bad. Um, but you should be able to handle yourself. Like I said, it was just one person who came in and snuck in, so not not a real threat to the group. <clears throat> and um, yeah, and and we'll be back. You guys will be back in about three days or so. Okay, let's head out. And yeah, Lucera, Callie, and Madeline. Horik is nowhere to be seen. He That's does this. Usual. Yes, this is nature. Um, I'm actually just gonna, I can't move him. Come on. I can't move him. Good. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, sounds good. And um, the journey begins. There, There is a... Um, so it's a cart. Uh, it has some gold in it. They covered it up with... Um, uh, blanket, just so it wouldn't be noticeable. Not that there's anyone out here, but it's just sort of a standard thing that they do. Anything valuable, you you cover with a blanket. Uh, so they're still like used to the same protocol that they would do in the cities and the more populated areas. Um, and then Pharaoh's corpse is like a very obvious lump in the cart underneath the sheet. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the journey journey back begins. Uh, Callie, Lucera, Madeline, how are you? Um, how are you moving along in this? Are you guys keeping quiet? Are you chatting? Are you being paranoid? Like, how's how's this going for you? I don't think Callie's paranoid. He knows that there's something out there, but there's always been something out there. Like to him, there's there's always been a creature or a thing or something that's been a threat. So he's no more on edge than before. That sounds pretty paranoid. It's not power they're actually have to get you. <laughs> Lucera, what are you what are you doing? What's your general uh, vibe during this trip? Okay, sounds good. Madeline. <laughs> right, sorry, I muted myself. My bad. <laughs> um probably not overly concerned. Again, she's probably kept keeping a bit more of an eye out than usual. Again, mostly because you stuck past me, I am insulted. Um, mm-hmm. So she's probably keeping that, but not like 
overly so. If there's a, if they want to ambush, whatever, she'll deal with it then. Mm. Okay. So very much in her own head right now. Mm, yeah, but she's just sort of carrying on, like just getting this out of the way. Whatever, it's just a task. And Madeline, what is your vibe? Um, Madeline's kind of, she's just, if a fight pops up, she's ready, but she's, I wouldn't say deep in thought, but she's thinking, so she's very quiet. Um, just kind of thinking about the whole situation and stuff. Uh, so she's a bit quieter than she normally, she's like normally she'd be chatting with everyone and kind of, you know, giving a dig out when people need it. If a wheel gets stuck, she'd be kind of the first one over to like help lever it out or something. But this time she's a bit more self-reflective or I can't remember the exact term, but just more in and of herself. That's the one. Yeah. Um, mm. She's kind of just, just thinking a bit more and, and, and maybe a bit distracted from her usual helpful chatty self. Um, yeah, I'd say that'd be it. Okay. I'll just give one moment here. Da -da -da. Sorry, guys. One moment. Once. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, <clears throat> so um, as is common with this road, we really should name this road at some point, by the way, guys. If you have any ideas, feel free. Um, but Madeline's Road. Madeline's Colin road. Dibs. Madeline's Road it is. What color should I make Madeline's Road? Purple. Purple it is. Purple text near the purple forest. That's that's pink. The forest is pink. You are you are purple. Yeah. There we go. We got Madeline's room. <laughs> Not after the the leader of the expedition who died. No, just a random guard of caravan. <laughs> I mean, he should have called dibs if he wants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no fair. That's, that's our work. I don't actually disagree with the name. You, it feels now. Oh, no, I seems fine with it. Player, <laughs> not player. There it is. Madeline's Road. Oh, I misspelled it. Whatever. Close enough. Close enough. It's almost the name. It'll do. I'm happy. <laughs> Okay, Madeline's Road. Um, <clears throat> come to the Blightland. Um, last time you were here, you um, did a proper amount of ass kicking. Um, and it seems like the spirits have sort of wilted away, uh, at least temporarily. So the crossing is easy. Um, you don't get the same sort of feeling of foreboding doom um, after the first person crosses. Uh, the sky doesn't dim or any of that stuff. Cool. Um. All the guards still do the whole like push all of them now, um, but yeah, um, there are no livestock with you, so it is just people taking turns moving this cart or pulling this cart. The cart's not terribly big, um, and yeah, it's, it's a bit heavy, but whatever. Um, so everyone, you know, gets across the Blightlands. That little tentacle that reaches out um, pops over. And um, afterwards, about halfway through, right underneath road, Madeline's road sign, 
um, is the campsite. Um, that people have used plenty of times. You get it set up. I know you guys don't need to sleep. Um, you still need to eat and all that um, and go on watch. Are all three of you on watch tonight? I still need to sleep for four hours, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, if I'm, all, I'm put four, my all three of you. Uh, yeah, I'll put that now. I was going to say, what I, but when the full rest is finished, I'm changing my spells back to what they were before. Okay, sounds good. Um, Madeline, would you like to... Everyone else is doing perception checks tonight. Would you like to either A, be on watch out as well, or B, make a road sign? Um... Well, we got the knights and stuff as well, so I will make a crude road sign. Sounds good. Um, Making it officially Madeline's road. <laughs> yep. Okay, sounds good. So, Callie and Lucia, can you give me perception checks for tonight? What the fuck? Jesus I... Christ! <laughs> 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 Casual 30 for perception? Um... Okay, that's not bad. No, not, Nineteen is still good. <laughs> Dude, it's the fact that that's almost as high as I can get, and it's not even. It's all just above half of his. That's funny. Okay, fair. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, it's an important step. Um, okay, Lucira, you notice um, in the moonlight there are reflections of eyes in the forest. You guys aren't terribly close to the forest, a hundred feet. But from this distance, even you can see reflections um, of eyes in the forest. Something is watching you. It seems like something, like the mood of the forest, changes at night, and predators come out. Um, you've seen those octopus-like creatures swinging around with um, malicious. I think I think Madeline's the one who saw them originally, but I believe you all have seen them uh, after that. Um, they have sort of a malicious, intelligent vi uh, intent to them, um, but they don't leave the forest, and they seem to come out into the forest at night. Um, Callie, you also see that, but while Lucera is focused on the forest, you also perceive everything else around in the opposite direction as well. Um, and you can see that there is movement to the north. So right now you're on this like flat road plane between the hills and the forest. Up on the the, the hills itself, uh, you can see a figure occasionally, several figures break the skyline and sort of obscure the moon or obscure the the starlight. Um, it doesn't look like hum uh, to the north. Yes, it doesn't look like humanoid shapes, but about humanoid size, and there are multiple of them. Right. So, um, they're they're a good distance away. They're several hundred feet away. Uh, what would you like to do, Lucira? Do you see what I see over there? Any motions towards the north? Uh, Lucira will turn around and uh, looking away from the forest. And do I see them at all? Or um, it's a shape. It extends beyond out. your yeah. It extends beyond your dark vision, so you don't have any benefit from that. Um, nope. You can see occasional movement, but you can't tell the figure. The figure is from that. I can see something moving. Looks like I'm a. Not, looks like a. Group. Can't make out the details. I think we should be on alert. There's something moving out there. Okay. I, don't, I don't like it. Can you see if they are moving towards us? Are they? Um, uncertain. You see them because the cliff face. Um, oh, we're only seeing the silhouettes side. of them, effectively. The silhouettes, yeah, thank you, that's the right word. The silhouettes is what you can see. Um, it is hard to tell anything closer than that. Um, but the movement on the silhouette of the skyline seems consistent. So either they're coming at you consistently for several minutes, which would be very bad, or it's the same entities messing around up there. I don't like it. Yeah. Perhaps we should have a closer look. Agreed. Do we disrupt okay. Madeline and her sign making? 
<laughs> Good point. Um, it's it's a very can... crude sign. <laughs> Probably shouldn't leave the camp unguarded because everyone else is asleep. By the way, yeah, yeah. The 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 guards are asleep. I, I think I think one of them's probably awake, just stoking the fire, keeping the fire uh, lit. But the rest of them are asleep. Okay. Just well, make a mention to him. Let him know while we saw him. We're just checking it out. Yeah. Mm. I think one of us might want to stay behind as well, just in case. But... Or if... <laughs> I'm just going to... That's fair. We're just going to assume Horrock stays here. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, but yeah, let's, let's, I think we should go have a look at... Just find out a little bit more. Oh, no, Horrock's not... Horrock's not with you guys. We don't know. Yeah, Maybe he's with us. Yeah, no, fair enough. Honestly, with his stealth rolls, he could be stood behind me when I wouldn't fucking know. He is yeah. one of the guards. Yeah. He's, he's just standing in the shadow of Lucera's cape at all times. I mean, he's probably hidden in the cart with the gold. <laughs> he's standing on your shoulders, you're just not aware. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to look down at the first time. <laughs> you guys, you just, he's right between you. You just have to look down a bit. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you let the guard know, and he he nods his head, and he um he has a lantern, and he he takes some of the firewood from inside and puts it in the lantern, and it's a like a searchlight lantern, and it reaches out a good distance, like eighty feet, but it doesn't it illuminate any of the um in that eighty foot radius. There's no monsters or anything like that that you can see. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, we'll that was stop probably getting a closer look then. I know you said it was, it was several hundred feet. 200. 200 feet, okay. It was 200 feet. Yeah, that's fine. We can get a little bit closer to have a look there. Getting too separated. Yeah, it's, <laughs> um, it's who, what, full speed? Is moving... It's like less than 30 seconds out from tower. Um, yeah, so, less than 30 uh, seconds. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> who is going to be moving forward? I will move forward. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'll definitely be moving forward as well, but... Madeline, uh, are you staying with the camp, or are you going forward? Uh, I'll go forward as well, yeah. Okay, everyone who's going forward, can you roll a sneak, uh, a stealth roll? That was the intention, right? To be stealthy? Or... Yeah. I mean, oh, there's, okay. no, there's, there's no... Is there no... basically incapable? Of, isn't really capable of stealth, so... The it's really more... then. We're, just, we're just walking... She's also not going to... That is correct. Focus. I mean, but yeah, you're not sure. We'll try it. Okay. Give it a shot, sure. Uh, it rolls. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Sarah does not get neither cares nor desires to be. Occasionally there is a clunk of metal, but other than that, you know, it's fine. Um, How close are you getting to these cliffs? Because we need to figure out what's there, I suppose. Fair enough. Lucer, what's your dark vision range? 60 feet. 60 feet. That's how you guys are closer you guys are getting to this cliff then. Um, the cliff raises about 15 feet up. Um, you can see off to the left and right, there's like eroded parts of the cliff where you could hypothetically walk up. It's very steep. But for right here in front of you is um, just bare stone sticking up. Uh, when you get to about 60 feet, you can see that there are holes um, into the stone. They're not extremely obvious, uh, but when you're like, there's something in this area I need to look at, you look at it and you can sort of tell, okay, there are actually like oddities to the stone wall. From the distance where you guys set up camp 200 feet away, it just looked like divots in the stone. Um, these, you haven't seen these in a while. You, 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 I said. <clears throat> Let me reset and refocus in my mind. Um, so you see these holes dug into the side of this cliff. Um, yeah, every, every spaced out like every 10 feet or so. Um, and as you're looking at this, uh, Madeline and Lucira, the ones with uh, night vision, dark vision, um, see that from one of these holes, a chitinous bug-like head pops out and looks at you. And you guys have seen these before. It has been a moment. No, come on, Roll Don't be a bitch. You son of a bitch. There it is. 
Um, ba, ba, ba. Ooh, it's friendly. Whoa. Hey, you see one of those? It's it's um. Let me look. I think they're medium size. Not that that like the size yep. you see on the they're, map. They're, they're medium size. Them. No, they're 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 people size. I mean, Hark is people. Is he though? Um, and you uh. Oh, that's great. Um, and you see one of these heads pop out and to take a look at you. Um, you can tell that it's not how to say the basic mannerisms of it uh, means that it's not just some stupid animal. It doesn't like look, see objects, movement. Oh, no, hide it. Like it looks at each of you, all three of you very quickly and then returns uh, into its its hole. Cool. Can I make a check to know what it is? Like, is it natural? Yeah, sure. Uh, knowledge nature or uh, anyone, Madeline, Madeline, sorry, it's dark, it's nighttime. Oh, shit, Madeline's the one with the book as well. Uh, yeah, let me just check. I think I have, I think I have the plant book. <clears throat> yep, I have the plant book. I yeah, roll the one. Well, they're not plants. Yeah, I'm not starting. Um, Madeline, you, you have the book, right? Yeah. So you can you can give anyone advantage for okay. identifying. Oh, okay. yeah, I, I'd I'd give that to Lizier then. If it's oh, okay. Then. Uh, I'll just roll again then. Yeah. I mean, a little bit better. Yeah. I appreciate the I appreciate it. And <laughs> Kai, can you give me a nature roll? Fine. Show off. Um. So you know what these are? There's not a ton of information. They're called Cruthix. Um, they, you've seen one of these before very early on, uh, when you were, um, traveling through, uh, this hilly region over here, they are a subterranean, um, insectoid species. They have, um, more intelligence than you'd expect. Maybe or not like human level intelligence. Uh, I don't actually know if they have language. They have a language. Um, it's their own species language, so they can communicate with each other. Um, they can coordinate. They aren't at the point where they can use tools. They don't really need to. They're little like raptor things that can burrow through ground, and they tend to attack in large amounts, or, or they tend to attack in large groups, uh, which makes them especially deadly. Uh, individually, they're they're no danger whatsoever to you guys. Um, but if you were to get like ambushed, uh, it it could be bad. Cool. We should probably leave them. Uh, they're very territorial as well. We should definitely leave. We should probably be wanting to be in as big a group as possible then. Yeah. So, yeah, we should probably turn around and hurry back to the group. It's something we can note down for anyone else going along Madeline's Road. Correct. Madeline's Road. Danger. <laughs> Danger. Do not, do not wander off road alone. The Just danger like Madeline. Madeline's Road is cursed. <laughs> We return to Ken. Yes, we do. What the fuck? Didn't think we don't need to count oh. without search. <sighs> Thanks, Roll20, for being an asshole. God damn it. I, I, adult Kruthix, I have to make a character sheet for them. Like, it, it's not being treated as a monster. It's a full-on, like... Um, I can give it classes, apparently. Hard. Uh, okay, there's yeah, one on the but... wiki. I'm not gonna look at the actual stats. Where is the spelling? So, you don't need to look up. You don't need to look up. Uh, stats. No, no, I didn't look at the stats, but I just know there is one. So, it's... yeah, I can I can pull up. I'm just really surprised because uh, cool. any other any other monster you pull up, it'll give yeah, you yeah, it just comes with the stat line itself. It, it, but... it treats it as a monster. This is yeah, whatever. It's fine. Huh. I've run into that issue before, and I was able to solve it somehow. Whatever. Okay. Oh, this is a character sheet. Fuck it. Okay, roll twenty. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Um. Give me a moment. Okay. Sounds good, guys. Um. So you see the head pop up. 
and you take a step back, I imagine, to return back to camp. Yep. yep. Um, you see, uh, when you do that, you see multiple of these little heads pop out of this cliff. We should leave faster. We're not rolling initiative yet. Because we're not in direct combat yet. What would you guys like to do? Proceed faster. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh, also, like, why am I not my spell slots? Uh, yeah, we should. Like I said, extremely territorial. Uh, like to ambush in large numbers. Probably against lesser numbered foes. We should probably leave fast. Okay. Sounds good. Um, okay, Lucia runs away. Oh, running fair? away. It's more just advancing back towards the camp in a rapid manner. Okay. And Callie and Madeline, you follow? We follow the fleeing Lucera. Sounds good. I believe like Lucera did. <laughs> God damn it, Walter. I never. Okay. So that's why I deleted it. Okay. I think I got I think I got a solution to this. Sorry, give me a second. See what I meant about like the first session always is jank. Oh awesome, um, I fixed it. Oh yes, awesome. I think I don't know how I fixed it by fixed it. I'm not sure. Where yeah, I don't know how it. I fixed it, but I fixed it. I, I pulled it from a different part of the picture than the other last time. <laughs> it gave me a different character sheet. Thank you, Rule 20. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> okay. Um, so y'all run, uh, uh, retreat swiftly uh, back to the camp. Um, are you, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Give me, give me pictures. Paint me pictures, people. Does it seem like they're following us? Um, your paranoia says yes. Okay, then. I, I inform the guard that there may be creatures on the way. Okay, that's good. Uh, the, the guard will uh, uh, ring a bell that he keeps on him. Uh, it's the lucky watchman's bell. And all the other guards who sleep in their armor wake up, throw their blankets across, pull their swords, and form a circle around the fire. Um, and Armand is looking over at U3 for, like, direction or like what's going on or anything there's a crotic, uh, cr- a crotic nest just a couple of hundred feet that way we were not not certain if they are pursuing yet but we were it would be wise to be ready just in case hmm. okay uh, we should wait a minute to see what they do and i think probably leave <laughs> we'll make camp somewhere else or just call it a night Agreed. Madeline will um, stand amongst the guards, the, the soldiers, um, let's say, keeping them within a 15 foot radius. Okay. Just, yes, you know, just in case, yeah. Okay, maybe, yeah. perhaps. Okay. And Callie and Lucer, what are you doing? Uh, staff out, mm. eyes peeled. Not drawing the sword yet. Uh, because that will immediately light us up like a Christmas tree, even more than we are. Um, we're, like I said, we have some fire soon, but no reason really to just keep an eye out on to the north, really. And okay. probably better keeping an ear out, which is boring to see and hear it. So, nothing happens at first, the first minute. Uh, you don't get charged by a swarm of them. Um, Lucira and Madeline, you can see a few of them will be uh, running around, not like sprinting, I guess, in a sense, um, not at you, but around the camp, and they seem to be at the edge of the firelight, <clears throat> but they're not coming any closer than that, and it's only like one of them or two of them. And they disappear back out. Do you guys do anything? Just the two people who can see in the dark. Oh, sorry. Callie, you can't even you can't even see them. These are they're outside the firelight. Ooh. 
Uh, like this, Callie, there's there's a moon and stars. So you like oh movement, but it's it's really hard to tell their um their figure from the bushes and stuff like that around the area. Uh, mm-hmm. Lucera and Madeline are able to actually see them with the dark vision. So they're just at what they're just pretty much on the edge of the firelight. Um, yeah, they're about forty five feet away from you or so, forty feet. Just uh, Lucera will just turn to Madeline. You could do that trick with the fire, no? Make it brighter. I could, but I could also do something else. Make it a lot darker. Mm. This is great. Uh, Hang on. I'm trying yeah. to link it, but it's not. There we go. Blindness, deafness on everyone. Let's go. Oh. Hmm. So we might be able to sneak away. Ooh. Or make advantage against them sort of thing. Oh wow! I like this. Spot. First time this has actually been useful. <laughs> okay. Huh. Possibly, but if we if we move out of that circle, or yeah, outside the circle, then be, I mean, it depends. It could be worth casting it and then seeing if they just leave. Um. Yeah, that could the, work. The other thing, though, is that the little life the rest of us have will be gone. Yeah, but no, because um, we're immune to the effects. It's, it's oh, is whoever I designate is, is kind of immune to it, but it highlights all the enemies. So the creature has advantage and may tend to hide. It doesn't say anything about not we about can't the light. Uh, conceal. Yeah, we can't conceal. What I'm saying is that the light of the fire that a lot of us are using to see. Oh yeah, yeah, would, um, yeah. So it it could be worth it just to try and hide it because as soon as they come into the, if they do attack, they will they will light up. Okay. Yeah. So those yeah. who don't have dark vision will have difficulty. You won't be blind, but it'll be difficult to see. Um, but it will, it could help yeah. us hide it and avoid it entirely. Yeah. And they, the enemies outside wouldn't be able to see you, essentially. Yeah, so we'll, we, can, we can try that. It could be really handy. Do it. Okay. 15 foot radius, that's enough to cover the group, yeah. Okay, do you cast this? I just call out to everyone, stay close to me. It was the angry one. And then, you, and then you, you whisper a spell, and this orb of darkness sort of expands out from you. Kind of like a uh, purple smoke filling an orb. Oh, and okay. It slowly kind of settles to a dark black. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. 15 foot. Okay, sounds good. Um, and is this movable? It follows me. I'm, I'm the, the <clears throat> point. Yeah, yeah this, this, this spell happens. Um, and then the intent is to leave? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we'd need to pack everything up, wouldn't we? Hold us, grab everything. Well, I, I mean, leave everything unless was... they attack us, in which case it's then just. Uh... Yeah, I think we can, like I said, just give it a minute, like, see what happens. Pack up is like there's a pot on the, the, the next to the wow. fire, and everyone has a blanket. Then go, whatever, mm. grab the stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah like I, said, I think we, we leave it a minute, see if they still. Because they, honestly, they might just lose sight of but, us and ignore us now. But we can just like give it a minute, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Um, so this spell comes up, and the ones that were Lucia and Madeline, you're the ones that are able to see this. Uh, the ones that were sort of running around a circle on the outside see this. They 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 pull back five feet or so. They see this spell go off, um, and then they start inching closer. I don't know if you can see. I need to read this more later on, but I think the air around you is obscured. Um, but you see, you see one of the figures, I guess you all do, um, when it goes into the, the sphere, it, one of them approaches up to 15 feet, uh, up to the, the edge of it, and you see it like a glowing white hand from this thing putting its hand, its clawed hand through the, the orb, um, and you can see this thing has some pretty nasty talons, um, 
and it it seems to be testing it out not just running in but like testing to see what this thing is uh, does anyone do anything yet they have scientists uh, we can try and hide yeah if everyone wants to give me a uh, stealth trick we can try with advantage no. Stealth. Hell yeah. <laughs> Slide of hands. Yeah. Yeah, wait, don't stealthy. I'm not gonna make the nice roll. Um Yeah, whatever. It was it was a nice attempt, but yeah, sounds good. Uh so Callie and Lucera, you like try and take a uh, footstep and this thing seems to sense and hear you and immediately pulls back and runs off in the dark. Okay. Um, as far as you're aware, through the uh, darkness of night and the obscuration of this sphere, you see no enemy targets surrounding you anymore. Oh, there you go. That seems as though it's black. Do not see them, but it might be best if we move on a little bit further from here. We have ten minutes to make some progress. Yeah, the uh, the guards. Um, ba -ba -ba. Uh, the guards and Armand all. Um, not and get their stuff sorted. Uh, sorry, guys, you don't say it. All 20 is a fantastic program. I'm glad it exists. Ah. Um, yeah, they um, they get their stuff set and they start pulling the cart and getting the fuck out of there. And from the outside perspective, this orb slowly starts bobbing down the bobbing down Madeline's road into the night. Okay. Um, let's see, we've been doing it for an hour and a half. Yeah, I'm good to continue. We'll we'll take a break. We'll take a break late in a bit. Not right now. Um, so yeah. Um, in ten minutes' time, the orb uh, falters and fails and fades as it does. Um, and the general feeling is that you're not being followed and that you're not under immediate danger. Um, it is like three o'clock, four o'clock. Um. So the guards and Armin say, uh, we, we can just push through. We'll sleep in the boat. <clears throat> it would be best if we just got out of this land. I'm already on edge enough. How's your fish? Okay. And the rest of the journey is uh, uneventful. As you continue on, uh, you reach the end of the... Uh, flat plains come to the the sort of fey forest, the one that actually has natural feel to it with the wisps um, flying around and the glowing mushrooms. You get through that, and there is that familiar smell of swamp, of of rotting reed, um, and you can see that there is a ship waiting at more. It is a different ship than the Morning Moon. Uh, but Armin doesn't seem perplexed or anything like that, so this must be according to plan. Um, okay. Yeah, and there is uh, a rowboat with two men there waiting for you as you pull up. No crabs to steal your stuff Good. for or, no or crabs. clamp your clamp your mouth shut. Um, okay. that was that was one of my favorite stupid fights. Just like oh, everyone's silence. This is great. None of that. Um. And uh, Armin and the guards and everyone start uh, moving the uh, the the bags of gold into the the rowboat. Uh, rowboat, you know, sinks into the water a good amount from the weight alone. Um, and they also respectfully remove Pharaoh, good old Pharaoh Whittier, um, off the cart into the boat last. And Armin. Uh, all the, all the guards get in the boat, and Armand gives a bow and says, it was interesting meeting all of you. I hope things improve from how they've been since I got here. You shall find how to do this and deal with them. Well, I wish you luck in that. I didn't know Pharaoh personally, but I knew of him, and he seemed like a, a good fellow. Um... We should talk logistics. Um, your payment is a, per, a percentage of this gold. Um, your payment will be underneath, under your name. 
uh, any of the banks will have your um, your payment whenever you want to go there and whenever you have an opportunity to return uh, it should be a tidy sum of money um, we'll come back in about two or three months time with supplies uh, and to pick up another load of gold um, in the chance that pharaoh is not able to be resurrected or he is resurrected and chooses not to come back um, the town will need someone to act as leader and to um, report back to the masters um, say again? <laughs> say again? Money medicine. Oh, I didn't even hear you, dude. I just right. said Madeline's Town. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have a name yet. Yeah. Okay. Um, just whichever one of you uh, is in charge. Uh, it comes with increased pay and increased responsibilities, of course. Um, we have faith that you'll choose the best person for the success of this mission and your own survival, of course. Well, I wish you well. Take care of yourself. And Armand will turn around and get in the boat. And they'll all start rowing. Well, okay. Well, guys, the gold's safe. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. You're all rich-ish, kind of. Maybe. We're all rich Maybe. Maybe. elsewhere. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, you I get know, a portion of rich. Yeah. Dude, I know, no, this is very really to like roughly how much would we be looking for that much gold? Um, sure. give me one moment. I have a number. Fifty copper. Ba, ba, ba. No. Ba, ba, ba. I have it written down. Let me look at this shit. Do, do, do. Number I have written down is seven hundred gold. Like each per, or per, per person. Nice. That is a healthy amount of gold. It yeah, is. no, the job pays well. And we mark that up on the sheet now, or is that a... Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it's fine, but... What good would it do you? I'm just... <laughs> Where's the I'm bank deleting. boat? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, they probably uh, don't trust... The morning moon to transport a shit ton of gold. So uh, <laughs> I don't trust the morning moon to transport me, but I don't really get a choice. In well, you gave him a bunch of really valuable items, and then asked him to deal with money for you. So you trust him somewhat. I, I gave we, him we, we, we trust okay. him with what we found, not what we earned. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Um, oh. so are you guys going to be um like set up camp here? Where it's relatively safe, or and just make the journey in one road, or how do you want to do this? Are you going to take Madeline's road back, or are you going to take a different way? What we could do, it's not a million miles to that to those set no. of ruins. No, it is uphill a bit, but no, it's not a, not a million miles. We could swing by there because, like you said, it Shadakai ruins, stolen map, is potential that is there. Could be worth just having a look, just sort of seeing. Yeah. Uh, do you want to rest now, though, or do you want to rest? Yeah, we never got to finish that rest. We don't get. I just remembered doing. something. I just remembered something I forgot, guys. Oh, gone. Not a big deal. Um, <laughs> well, maybe. Um, the the Shutter Kai did leave one other thing. He left a small twig work. <laughs> Item, right? Yeah. I think um, Madeline had it. Remember? Madeline, okay, yeah. I think I think Madeline has it yeah, exactly. Um, and it is sort of a rudimentary. Um, how describe? How did I describe it originally? It, it's like a. It's like a. It's like a signpost. Uh, for um uh a group of people who are traveling. It's sort of like. 
their their symbol. Yeah, exactly. Like like they hang them for trees or like put them in in important areas of their uh, territory. Hang signs. Um. Yeah. Totems. I guess totems are fine. A little totem. Um. And you have seen those once before on this map. I know it's been a while. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you because I mean, it's been longer for us in real life than it has been for your characters. But yeah, I just, true. If, I just wanted to see if anyone actually remembered where you've seen these little wood. Um, oh, what's the what's the fucking um, what's that? Voodoo doll movie. What's the movie made from the perspective of a person holding a camera? The Blair Witch Blair Project. Witch. Yeah. Yes. The, like um, little wood. We saw it. I think we saw it in some of the uh, the ogre camps, wasn't it? No. Uh, you, no, no, you didn't see any in the ogre camps. Was it maybe the only thing I could think? Of, well, yeah, I can't remember then. Yeah, I remember we found something in the the castle. Um, oh, that's horrifying. About Toxie, um, that was like Toxie, You have it correct. There, there were some in the castle. After you enter in the main door, there were some of these scattered along the um the the um entryway the foyer um that was the same place that you found the um like the abandoned vampires research room and then another one of those blood totem uh, yes with uh, some more fresh blood on yeah with some fresh blood um, just a reminder: there is a, to- a teleportation stone, a blood bloodstone, whatever, uh, nearby your current location yeah. as well. Right, that was actually there's there's one um, up north yeah. the part of town where you guys were originally going to go. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. I just remembered something. Uh, can we go back to that teleporting place? Mm-hmm. So I just remember because uh, I want to see how it interacts with the. Uh, the transportation blood room, like the camp- session these one. These little these little symbols here, they're all the teleportation things, aren't they? Uh, yeah. The the purple with the red interior, those are teleportation yeah. areas that you have found so far. Yeah, so we could basically check out both of those places in like one go, sort of thing. Essentially, also it would make the journey way quicker. Yeah. Yeah. There is also one up it, here if we needed it back to camp. Yeah, that's that, that's what I was thinking. Because if if we can teleport from here to here, that's now like an hour's journey or something. The only issue is, can you remember exactly how much blood it required to activate it? Because it was like a pool. There was quite a lot in it, wasn't it? There I was, f- but that's what I'm thinking. I'm wondering, is it? It requires a lot of blood to create the the rune that I have. Um, it takes a lot of blood to create the rune. Uh, it's also powered off blood. It acts okay. as a sponge, uh, metaphorically and literally. I think we figured out last time that it required about one halfling's worth. <laughs> yes, I believe that was the conclusion. You haven't tested it yet, though. Yeah, we decided on that. I don't think we discovered that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we discovered through collective natural. reasoning. It's only natural. Um, yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, we can just go and try and sort of, sort of see if it does interact immediately with the rune, because um, we're here. Might as well. Okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, sure. So, so the rune that is here, um, let's just call them blood portals. Yeah. Sure. Um, henge, blood henge. Um, uh, the one that was here was rather weathered down. It had um, yeah. been exposed to all the rest are interior. This one, maybe it was interior at one point, but it doesn't have any building around anymore. Rather worn down, still functional, because you did teleport there earlier. Um, I guess there's another blood... No, whatever. Um, uh, so it is a rock. But but you, you remember, you could see the boat from the stone, so you just need to like, follow the coastline along. Um, and after looking for about a quarter of a day of backtracking, 
backtracking and and uh, looking around for this rock, you are able to eventually find it. Um, it's a rather prominent piece of granite. Uh, it sticks out a bit in this swampy environment. Okay. So if I'm talking about was it, sorry, was it was it marble? It wasn't it wasn't granite. It was um one cent, one cent. I remember it was some kind of pale stone. This is important to me. Uh uh slate it is black slate. Okay. Cool. Yep. Um, um, yeah. And the oh, like all everything had been weathered down completely, so you couldn't see any or anything, right? Yeah, it, it you it you can see like hints of writing or symbols or something like that, but it's so weathered down that you can't actually tell what the hell they say. Uh, the other rooms were in much better condition. Yeah. Um, just curious. So if I so. do take out this um, transportation room that I have, like mm -hmm. does it like immediately react at all or? Um, you it is warm. It is body temperature warm. Um, I don't recall you really messing with this rune at any other point in the adventure. So, uh, testing no. it out, you don't have a baseline. Uh, it, it, I mean, it's warm. That seems odd. It has a single. Uh, so it, it, the rock you have, there is a um, baseball size piece of slate, similar to the the altar you're on. It has a a uh, single, very deeply engraved rune in, um, roughly scrawled deep in, maybe with a knife or something like that. Um, and how to say, it feels quite heavier than you'd expect it to be, and it is warm to the touch, as though it's been out in sunlight, um, even though it's been in your pocket this whole time. Um, and the ruin itself does have sort of a captivating nature to it. Um, but just you like standing on, if you're like standing on the rock with that ruin in your hand, that doesn't seem to do it. Something else is necessary. Uh, well, since she's master of blood magic, uh, Lucero will just sort of take, uh, I guess I shall take out the sword. I don't, I now realize I don't have any other bladed weapons. Okay. Um, and she'll just sort of cut her palm a little bit, which First if anyone's going to point out, I am not undead, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> even though I know the palm is the absolute worst place to cut yourself, it's where it does it, uh, and just sort of drip some blood onto the rune. Okay. So, um, a small cut in your palm, you drop some blood onto it, uh, you immediately get a strong feeling that that was not a good idea. Okay. Um, can you give me a dex saving throw? Dex saving throw. Okay. All right, this is pretty decent. <laughs> give me a moment. Do, do, do. <laughs> I would just love that it's like drops blood. The immediate radio session. Ah, this was a bad idea. Bang. <laughs> bad idea. It was a calculated decision, but I am not good at maths. <laughs> okay. By the way, I just stuck names on each of those portal things just so we can reference them. And yeah. Be confused. Uh, Lucira, um, as soon as that drop of blood from your palm hits the stone, um, you get a sense of immense power as then the blood is siphoned out of your body. And you just see a, what started as a drip goes to a stream of blood. Uh, it very quickly hits. Um, you react fast enough to throw the stone away in panic and throw it far enough away. Uh, and a trail of your blood like continues along with it, but the stone gets far enough away, like over ten feet, the blood yeah. just sort of drops down. Uh, you're gonna take half of this. You take fifteen points of damage. 
That could have been a lot so worse. So half to eight. Or oh, was that already halved? Uh, you take... Uh... Oh, shit. Um, you would take uh, half of that. So seven. Okay, so eight. Uh, yeah. Wait. Uh, fuck. Roll, you, down always down. Down. you always round down. down. So I'll play other games where it's rounded up. Really? Yeah. Okay. I thought that was in the book. It might be in the book. I said, okay. I, no, I mean, I actually play other game oh. systems entirely. I got you. Okay. So and I just never remember where some were rounded up and some were rounded down. Um, um, okay. Yeah, uh, I presume... Throw, throw the stone yeah. in it. Your clock yeah, I presume a... she knows <laughs> blood magic, break the connection, break the effect. You know that. It's just a gut feeling. <laughs> bad yeah, thing, bad thing away from me. <laughs> Lucera, um, you okay? Uh, yeah, Lucera will immediately go, like put the gauntlet back on and then, uh, which I realized she should have taken off to cut apart. And then she'll go and pick, go find that rune again. Yeah, you threw it off into the water and it, yep. you hear a, a, a water splash. You just go over. Like I said, um, it is a heavy rock, so it made a big splash. Easy to find. Yeah. You go over there, it kind of sticks out. And as you're sort of like reaching down for it to try and find it in the riverbed, um, you, your hand just sort of automatically goes towards it. <laughs> yeah, she'll uh, pick it back up. Is everything uh, I'm assuming, okay? Uh, it seems as though it is not simply a stone. It is not simply given blood. The stone itself actually takes it from its victim. Interesting. First, it is such a little thing, but it's, it seems so powerful. Oh, and it's not secrets, really. What makes it tick to... Uh, you said it's dominated by a single rune effect, right? Yes, yes. Someone carved so, a single rough, bold so rune into this. One rune has enough to do with this, and it has enough to serve a purpose elsewhere. I was curious. It needs some magical healing. Are you okay? Uh, Sarah is like sort of not really looking at you. She's still looking at the stone um, and just sort of detecting. Believe I am okay, but still, uh, she'll just take it back and just again curiosity and see if it reacts differently to the uh, altar now. Um, no, just just waving oh. the stone around doesn't seem to do it. Something else must be done. Right, uh, she will. Uh... <laughs> Do I do the smart thing or no? Fuck the smart thing. Um, she you was just sort of dumb thing. Yeah, I already did the. Oh, I can do. Oh, I can do way worse. Um, <laughs> just try seeing again. Just take that gauntlet off again, actually. And she'll just try putting some onto the altar. Um, and so uh, I'll see if that. Be, be, before before you do that, will you allow me to cast the resistance blood. on you? All the blood goes out of Lucera. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there we go. It, it, it can be it can be nothing or it could be really dumb, but she's curious. Yeah, so um, I'll, it I'll wouldn't make sense. Okay. <laughs> Callie is being a good uh, um, assistant uh, yes. researcher. Remember, yeah, she, remember she, to wear your uh, PPE. At all I times. mean, I, I I can't convince her when, not to do it. All I can do is try and keep her from dying. <laughs> <laughs> Take necessary precautions with working with eldritch uh, ruins. Yeah. Mm. Um, um, yeah, it'd yeah. be weird to have two. Like, the, so it seems because we found the the room in like just in a pool of blood. Yes, which means it's not, which means it wasn't absorbing that blood. So possibly there is a limit to what you can keep all the time. That's reasonable. No, no magic item yeah. has infinite. So there's an amount of blood, but we haven't got any we of the other blood. We've used it once, haven't we? And it's this, this uh, rune. We've used it once already, so mm -hmm. it could be just trying to refill itself. Yeah. You did use the rune to, um, to get back to this reality. Yeah. I'm wondering, but I don't remember. How did we create that portal? It just happened. It was just there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was kind of already taken shape. Uh, okay, actually, before she does, she'll just try 
touching the rune stone to the altar said then um at that point when the two stones meet uh Callie and Madeline I imagine you're you're sort of just watching this from five feet away ten feet away or so yeah um a portal opens up directly below so in my mind tell me if I'm wrong Lucer or a toxic but Lucer is standing on this large altar like it's a it's a heavy yes. boulder I mean, I imagine if, if it's an altar, make, like kneeling to it, yeah, you make contact with the stone and the um, the altar. Um, at that moment, um, the ground falls out from underneath you, and a portal opens up where you were kneeling down to make contact between the two stones, and you fall through. All right, cool. Callie and <laughs> Madeline, a, what would you like to do? You can, I, you, I, you, can, I, you can see through the portal. The other side of the portal is the room that you have been in once before in the other realm. I jump after those here. Okay, Madeline. Uh, shit. Um, you want to split the party? No, I'm just. I'm just thinking. Is there anything I can do to keep the portal open in case it closes behind us? Mm. I mean, we Stargate thing. Just put a stick in there. It can't yeah, close uh, if yeah, something's card- mid. <laughs> Pull out a car jack. Hork dives in. No, I don't think there's anything I can do. Wait, what? what no. Thomas Hork here? Yeah. Um, Hork dives at a bush into the pool. <laughs> and it immediately vanishes again. <laughs> yeah, I'll just I'll just be like, oh shit, and jump through as well. Um, okay. Sounds good. Hmm? Uh, okay, sounds good. Um, why don't we All take a short break right there it's good to me i'm gonna get a cup of tea come back um 10 minutes at the 30 yeah okay. well, at, the, at the half hour okay that yeah, sounds good okay um so you find actually let me change the map we are no longer there we have a blood room yet just make a big red square that's all you need i had i had a blood room Oh well. Zero wasn't. It? Yeah, I, I retooled it for something else though. Mm. I need I need a proper blood room, guys. I'll, I'll get one straight out. I'll hire an AI artist. Okay. Well, they're um, coming all the rage now. Yeah. Nice it up. Man, I've seen some weird shit. But yeah, it's it's pretty impressive. Oh, we, sorry, we were still recording. Yes. Okay, something good. Let's. let's... <laughs> um, you guys find yourself in the blood room. Um, it has been a while since you were here. It is a for some of you, um, namely everyone who's not Madeline, <clears throat> fills you with a very. Actually, I guess Callie would be fine too. Lucia, you're, you're uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable here. Yeah, uh, you know you're all at home. <laughs> um, oh no! Of course, cursed so, blood match. Oh, wait. From what you were able to determine the first time you're here, which wasn't a ton to be fair, but you know, this is a part of Shadowfell. It is not the main uh, um, plane of it. It is a side shoot, a side bubble. Um, uh, a parallel plane. <laughs> so, it has a lot of the same attributes as Shadowfell. Main odd one is that outside of this, it is ocean. You don't know how deep it goes. Um, you don't know how far it goes. It's just calm, cold water the entire way through. In this ocean, there is undead seemed like a place of trapped souls almost um and a bright white moon shining down and everything you don't see that right now though what you see is a medium-sized room with four columns a blood altar and a no longer recently slain sacrifice they've 
they've been here a while and uh they've started to mummify almost uh the blood has dried up um of this corpse that is laying on this altar um definitely a place of, of, of sacrifice there's a um a grooves in the stone the altar that uh, feed down into like a, a blood pool which has dried up here the shadows are pretty thick in this room there's a single there's a single like uh, uh the the pillars have torches sconces that are light uh but everywhere the light doesn't touch is almost pure blackness almost as though it doesn't exist outside of the light it's a bit claustrophobic um the air itself is cold the feeling um the existence of this place is cold some of you may be more comfortable with that than others um but other than that you uh you look around you don't see any enemies or anything like that you don't see anything horrible or new it's more or less as you remember it um oh um so place this room has four pillars two in the left two in the right blood altar in the center where you've popped out of is the pillars to the uh right i can even draw it to help us remain sane mm -hmm. pillars 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 Blood altar. And you guys have stepped out of this portal here on the right hand side. Does it All stay right. open? It stays open for about 10 seconds and then oh, you all pop out. Um, I'm going to just, you know, Hork doesn't exist right now. And he's going um, to be stuck in the portal for some period. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he goes in the portal. He doesn't come out. Go figure. He hides in the portal. Here, I'll, I'll do the blood altar with this. The transporter uh, issue. He's stuck in the um... buffer. Yeah. Damn it. I was going to make that same <laughs> reference. <laughs> it's like the only Star Trek reference I know. <laughs> You need to watch more Star Trek. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Listen, I get that everyone else thinks it's fantastic. I didn't. I didn't. Wasn't a fan. Fair. You haven't watched. Been watching although, the right. Although for the rest of us, we should play. We should play Star Trek again sometime. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, there you go. I got a skeleton boy. Oh. Sh Turns out, if you look up skeleton, you get a shark skeleton. First off, that's not helpful. <laughs> I mean, he didn't specify human skeleton. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, true enough. I'll look up human skeleton next. Okay. And this portal from which you've come disappears behind you. And uh, it is uh, deathly quiet here currently. Well, Lucera? Lucera is sort of like grinning madly at the uh, runestone. Like... She figures it partially out how, how it works now. Yep. So we jumped in to follow to make sure you're okay. Do you think you can get us back if we need to? What are you saying is you got us into this mess, they get us out? Yeah, in, in, in as kind a <laughs> way as possible. <laughs> it, it's the stone. It is a key of sorts. It is fueled by. Um, Here's a question then, actually. Uh, now that they've used this portal, is there any difference in the stone? Like, I don't know, does it feel not as warm? Is it, I don't know, yeah. is there a um, glow at all? Like, uh, it is smoking hot. It oh. is uh, less hot. Or it is less, it weighs less, it weighs less. Like, it's, it's obvious. Um, oh. oh, wait, no, hold uh it weighs slightly less slightly less okay so so obviously the blood or the amount of blood required to fuel a portal is, is probably linked to the weight of it i imagine yep. as it absorbs more blood it feels heavier 
Magic uh, is classically measured in kilograms. Magic is a wonderful thing. Um, real question is, I presume I well, I presume that I could probably tap the stone back to where we just came from, and it would reopen that portal. Cool. The real question is, do I have enough to go through, go open the other portal, see if you can go through there and have a look? Which is interesting because I have no idea how much blood is in this. How much blood is in the uh, fuel? Blood is in the stone. It, it's yeah. You might want to experiment with that later, but for right now, I can tell you it still weighs more than you think it should. So there's still a charge in there, at least. Maybe still so at least a charge in there. At least a charge, maybe more. Oh, that's the thing. I don't know how much. I'm afraid I have um, no blood to give you to charge it. Have we determined if it has to be like humanoid blood, or can it just can we just like go slaughter a whole bunch of violence? Uh, you, you if I remember rightly, it can any he can use uh, blood. It's just worth a lot less. Oh it, yeah, yeah. It is, blood it is, this is where we got into the whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The some more races are worth more than others. Yeah, uh, it's not races. Uh, entities. Some entities have more magic than others. Yeah, and that magic is stored in the blood. But yes, it's certainly the pea is stored in the walls. And if I remember, this it was basically a straight line down here. Like there was no offshoots in the path we took on session. There were prison cells. There were prison cells that were just of pure black. Yeah. As um, in, like, again, in you're in a hell. you're in a different plane, so it doesn't necessarily play by reality's rules. Yeah. Oh, yeah that you didn't see the end. You didn't thing. see the back of those cells. You there was, and there thing. was a there was that creature thing. That there, mimic, yeah. which I, I'll name it to go or something. Yeah. Are you my mummy? They did not have a gas mask. Don't make fun of the dead. Why is that the dead? That those characters lived in the show. Oh no, I was some of them. Um, that was a good episode. It was. Okay. So, um, what would you like to do? We're just hanging out? Mm -hmm. Do I do the smart thing or the reckless thing? I've already been fairly reckless this session. At this point, we're in, f we're in for a pen, in for a penny, in for a pound. So, we are already a plane of existence away from where we're supposed to be. Yeah. I... Because we don't know, or because we left through this portal before previously, I believe, and we ended up on the shore, does the other portal bring us to somewhere else, or do we require a different stone? So, um, oh, it's, gonna be, it's not going to work for me. Um, last time you were here, you exited out of the left side, actually, not the right side. Oh, was it? Oh, yep. yep. Uh, the right side, the one that you just came out of, what it showed was a uh, dark temple at the bottom of a body of water. Oh, that changes things. Okay, I thought it was. I knew it was the other portal that showed it. I thought we came, or we left via this one as well. Okay. Which means it's which means it's not one that we've been to because none of the port none of the portals we've found. Oh. So okay, then I'm guessing each stone is a key and the doors are whatever. You so should, we can't. You should experiment go. more before you come to conclusions. We should, but we've only got a limited amount of fuel here at the moment. Yeah. Only there was like a spare halfling around. <laughs> He's somewhere in this room. We just need to find him. Wait, hang on. I know how to find him. I've got. I've still got the wand of finding objects, and I know something he has. Horik, <laughs> <laughs> you can't hide from me anymore. <laughs> you magnificent bastard! I read your book. <laughs> uh, fuck. We really need to experiment more with this. Uh, this is actually. Yeah, this is going to go. To the other wall, and just tap the stone there. 
meant to be myself. Give me one moment here. The star either, uh, yeah, because either star, it's going to open into the temple again. Okay. Underwater, or it's going to exit <clears throat> back to where we just came from. Okay. So, um, you go over and you tap it on the pillars. Uh, yeah. Or the stone, uh, no, or nothing happens. Nothing the stone happens. does not interact with the pillars. Where, where was it that we originally opened the portal then? Uh, it was already, the portals were already open when you arrived. Oh, shit. I see these things. I think you might have to tap like the bottom, like the altar part, or the, the whatever slab on the bottom part between the two pillars, potentially. Yeah. The other question um, did you have this place in mind when you tapped? I don't really have any. I mean, uh, potentially. Yeah, but if that's the case, then she would have been thinking about the temple. No. Um, okay, so she's not facing the pillars. And it's a reminder, is it like um open space behind these pillars, or is it like a wall? Uh, you're in a room right now. Yeah, but as in like. There you go. Okay. Okay, that works. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> the sort of smirk or the grin falters a little bit. Anyways, not quite. Hard. I had it. Then she just hold on. Okay. Uh, and blood altar. Okay. Um. Well, the only thing would be tap the blood altar then. Okay. Yep. You tap blood altar and two portals open, one on the left and one on the right. Oh, okay. Um, this one. Yep. Tumble the water. Yep. Okay. okay and... we'll, start, we'll start on the right. We'll start on the right. Yep. The one on the right opens up. It shows the um the um open air and you see the trees from the place that you just came from. The perspective of the portal seems to be pointing upwards. Yeah. Um, and it's the portal that you guys came from, essentially. Your your last entry. Right. Uh, oh, that's actually large. Whatever. Uh, the one that is over here. Um. It depends. So, if you will hear me for a moment, if you go down to the bottom of the map. Where would you like to go? Or like, no, I'm asking Lucera. Lucera is the stone. Oh. Lucera, where? Not even like as a as a choice. It's like where would your subconscious prefer to go? Oh, two questions. So my immediate thought would be either spirit tomb because it would be close to the town. Oh. It would be close to home, and that would be like. It makes sense if, because if they can figure that out and go back and forth real quick, and it's sort of like it makes sense to have a way home effectively. Alternatively, we were considering going to these ruins. Yeah, you did advocate to go into the vampire. I did advocate to go to the ruins, and I, but I think both of them would be on her subconscious mind. Who'd like to so roll for it? I am going to roll for it. Sure thing. Uh, low is vampiric ruins, high is home. Okay. I'll just roll, roll a d6 or d20. A d2. D2. Oh, right, okay. Oh, yeah, we're not vampire. limited by physical numbers here. Vampire ruins it is. Okay. A portal to the inside of an abandoned underground cathedral, towering, uh, opens up in front of you. Excellent. <laughs> Yosir has unlocked fast travel. Yes, I have. The question is... Okay, so we wanted to have another look around here then, right? Well, it depends. Uh, Do you think there's enough left in that stone in case these close I mean, it, while we're investigating? If we, I mean, in which case we can still get back fairly easily. It means we travel from the... We'll to... still be in our own realm. Like, yeah. yeah, we'll still be back um, in our realm. Oh, sorry, when and you said here, I thought you meant... Here, as in no, no. So I meant like um, yeah, the other yeah. vampiric ruins. It is oh, yeah. a rune powered by blood, and you're currently in a realm without blood. Yeah. 
famously lacking blood. Yeah, so no, no, not these ruins. I mean, the ruins to the, through this portal. The vampiric ruins. Yeah, I'm up for that. Yeah, we can. All right. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think we should just head through there. Um, okay, sounds good. Should have a look. All three of you. Yep. Go through the ruins. I don't. Okay. For some reason, my character is like really struggling to move. But yes. Hmm. I think my mouse is dying. I'm going to be honest. And now you can I'll afford a new PC, Toxa. I can. I'd really just need to get around to it. I'm... Okay. Sounds good, place. guys. Yes, this is where the Sturges are. It's been a while. It's been a while. Been a while. Um, it is where the Sturges are. Uh, you are currently, uh, for your memory, inside this building right here. First floor is where the Blood Altar is. Um, the room that you're on is empty. Like, it is... Oh, one sec. Giant evil bats, let's not forget. Yeah, that's what I was saying, the Sturges. Mm. Yeah, but the thing is, they only got to you guys. But you know what is also valuable? They have blood in them. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that whenever we kill monsters, just toss the ruin into their bodies and just let That's the plan! <laughs> yep. Or if we even just take the blood, like siphon the blood off, and then just have it there in spare sort of thing. Yeah. We should we should get a we should get a uh, wine skin filled with blood and just store the ruin in there. Because uh, literally everything I'm carrying is like fifty pounds, <laughs> <laughs> so I've got like a couple of hundred pounds spare to like carry stuff. So, couple of hundred pounds of blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, really that won't go great. off. I have, to it. I have to explain it to a guard when you get back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's animal blood. Don't worry, sure. it's it's for magic purposes. <laughs> that was good. Um, so the room that you're in currently is um, large, very large, very hollow. <clears throat> you know that above you is a staircase that leads upwards into some sort of like council chamber or command room or something like that of importance. But where you're in right now is essentially a temple um, with the the altar is where you are and there's two statues one on either side of it uh with um elven or as you've figured out um shard mm -hmm. uh statues and this statue this um this portal opens up correctly so you're able to just walk through it doesn't like open point it up and gravity changes or any of that stuff gravity hands. Okay. and you find yourself there Uh, and I'm going to presume that the stone, the room, feels a little bit lighter. Uh, significantly lighter. Significantly lighter. Yeah, it seems getting to the portal room is easy. Getting out is expensive. Right. Probably. Well, might not want to do a, another journey then. Um. Yeah. Your best guesstimate. Um. Let me think here for a second. One. Your best guesstimate is that. You'd probably be able to do one more trip before the blood, the, the stone is empty. As in, one more trip to and there from and then the portal? Out. No, yeah, there. Oh, and okay. One, one, one full journey. So that yeah. would be two journeys done, and the weight tells you to do one more. So three charges total. Three charges total per feeling. Mm -hmm. Full journey. Per full tank. Full tank of blood. Yep. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, you guys are yep. here for a reason. Yes, we kind of are. <laughs> uh, although I said that, we are here way early. We, I don't realize, even they stole the map like two nights ago. One night ago. Yeah. yeah. Two nights ago. They will probably not be here already. <laughs> we. <laughs> Uh, we don't even know if that. they're going to be here if this is. No, we don't. We were, we were just here out of curiosity because it wasn't that out of our way. Yeah. They're here to give the map to the vampire. Maybe, maybe it could be. I start making my way to the sarcophagus. Sounds good, guys. And you all go together? Yeah. Yep. And I will put the rune back in my pocket. Sounds good. 
Like open the sarcophagus and free uh, the vampire. <laughs> I would not put a pass. Oh, you guys, you're all you're all playing vampire thralls. Well, if, uh, if was it uh, just remind me, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Was it the sarcophagus with the vampire that had the black fog in it, or was it one of the other ones that? No, you, you're you're correct. The first one it has three of the sarcophaguses. They're all labeled uh, different honorifics. The one yep. that is left is the uh, fists of the people or the wrath of the people. Um, um, hand of fury. The hand of fury. Thank you. Yeah. That's right. Yes, it is. One second, please. Like I said, family's over right now. Um, where were we at? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, um, the other two sarcophaguses were empty. Um, they're all stone, heavy stone. The one that was still had an occupant inside of it I had a, a vampire uh, with a stake through its heart, held in place because of that, paralyzed, uh, submerged in this black fog. Which, uh, when you were the in contact with it, made you feel like you were drowning. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Definitely not a uh, thing to buck around with without precaution or, you know. Callie seems to do fo okay near that stuff. Oh, no, Callie's the one that actually, uh, everyone else is defined. Actually, Callie's the one that succumbed to it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we all succumbed to it initially. Yeah, initially, yeah. That was when we saw the, the four in pristine condition. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, you 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 go to the the chamber. Um, I believe you close the lid. I think that's I, yeah. I think we have to close it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it seems as you remember it, undisturbed. Good. Should we check it again? Keep disturbing the vampire. <laughs> Just keep putting him. Uh... Yeah, that you still there? Yeah. But... <laughs> And in front of mortal being, it's probably been like eight seconds for him. So fuck you, why are you back? Um, we don't even know if they're saying anything. No, it's fine. it seems that they, if they are intended to be here, they have not been here yet. Is, is, um, is this room, this chamber, is it completely stone? Or is it... Um... Yeah, no, it's stone. It's stone. Um, okay. Uh, the, there is a um, a door made of uh, heavy iron, a double door that leads into this after a stone hallway. Um, the hallway was one with the uh, the like history and origin of quote unquote your people. You don't recognize most of it though, so um, made it different like group. Um, yeah. and then the room itself is like ornamental, but doesn't have just as ornamental decorations to it uh, into the stone. Uh, and then the three Sharkov guy. Yeah, um, it seems as he left it. Lid's still on, all that. Do we lift it? That's the real question. No, I don't think we need to. I don't think, yeah. Unless, I unless, you, unless right. you want to. But I what if fine. the vampires? I think come? Madeline will be you inclined know. to check, but uh, it kind of depends on what you guys decide. I don't know. If like if you like, Mysterio, it does not feel one, strongly one way or another. It's entirely like Mysterio is still riding that high of ha ha. I figured it out. Ali, <laughs> uh, I don't think we need to open it. Well, if that is the consensus, then what I shall do is ritual cast on the tomb itself. For eight hours. Eight hours? Yeah. Okay. That's good. One. Yeah. I think you still have to stay in the area in order to... Within one mile of the area. One oh, mile. one mile. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, cool. In fact, it's eight guys... hours and one mile kind of gives us a certain amount of time. So okay. um, just means that they come um, up and start doing something. Where do you guys want to wait for eight hours? No, we're not waiting here. You just... Hmm, okay. 
It's more just if we detect activity while we're still within radius, we can go back and do something yeah, get, sure. like hold back in town or two days away or whatever, like so. Yeah, um, that's fine. I'll just go outside and keep an eye out uh, towards the skies, effectively. Oh shit! This was where um, fuck was it? Giant bat or giant bird or something oh, was yeah. around? Yeah, yeah. That's a griffin. It's a griffin-sized bat. Griffin-sized bat. Yeah. And if I remember, we we fully well, we I say fully. Everything obvious. We definitely explored everything here, right? We went. Um, and we're, yeah, we're no, you 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 hit up everything. Um, the other side, there's a, a silver yeah. mine with some houses um, made of stone around it, and then also a tavern called the uh, what was it the Turncoats, um, Oathbreakers Reprieve or something like that. This is where we found that shitty alcohol. Well, I mean, like, it's been around for a couple thousand years. I stand by my statement. I would like to check if there's any more uh, thousand year old, ten thousand year old wine. <laughs> yeah, Madeline runs off for the tavern. You guys follow? Uh, this is before or after you finish casting alarm? Yeah, after. After, after, yeah. Okay. Oh shit, this is where the wine was. <laughs> <laughs> It's like balsamic vinaigrette at that point. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it sounds good. Um, you sure? If you guys all head over to the tavern, uh, it's as you left it. Um, nothing much really seems to live here that messes with ruins. Um, yeah, it is. It has seats <laughs> and dust. The and seats uh, take our way. <laughs> yeah, they're made of stone. There, there are like stone stools. Okay. Um, Fancy elf ones. Um, so yeah, you sit around here and wait. Um, what is the plan here, guys? I think we can just leave at this point. Um, like maybe we'll still stumble on us on the way. If not, whatever. We at least checked. Like it's not like we've lost much uh, coming here. Just a life. Really, is life? That's fine. <laughs> okay. Mel, I'm sorry, you guys already you looted this place. There's no more. And um, oh crap, I closed roll twenty. One moment, guys. Um, and your halfling friend already like sufficiently looted this damn place, so it is bare bones. Is there is there more of that? No alcohol. No, no. Okay. He grabbed everything. There wasn't that much to begin with. Like, yeah, no. That's fine. You guys pretty thoroughly looted this place. Um, yeah. If you want to go back to the um. No, no alarm triggers. If you want to go back to the altar, uh, it sounds like that's the plan, right? Yeah. I don't want to push you guys if you have other plans. Yeah, I mean, if we've got enough, if we've got enough things, so we can either make the journey back by foot. Here, I'll transfer you guys over, and we can save that one charge because we don't know if slash one need or get another charge unless I don't know have a willing sacrifice or something. I was thinking we, we were. And it's not like, and to be honest, it's not even like it would be slower than the journey we were planning on doing anyway. Mm. If, or we can use this one last charge and just teleport back to the tomb. Be there. Really quick. I think it might be worth saving the charge. Yeah, let's save the charge. I think, I think if we do use it, we should use it to go to the fort because that's where we saw those tokens before then. And there we might be did. people there. Also, that an option. The only thing, but I, I, I thought we were walking. That's why I was setting the alarm and stuff. So that like, sorry, yeah. It's like, oh, there's someone there. Yeah. So actually, I'm gonna rename it a vampire castle instead of fort because there's already a fort. I don't want to get confused. Okay. Sure. Um. So yeah, I, I kind of agree with you. I think it'd be okay to just walk back, honestly. Save that last charge for when we, if we really need it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, again, it's not like, and it's not like it's too much of an inconvenience. So it's probably it's probably the same distance, more or less. It's rougher terrain without Madeline's road, but you'll get there halfway. Yeah, well, we'll still meet up with the road, so it's yeah. all good. Absolutely. 
Okay, sounds good. So you're going to head out of Vampiric City and head over yep. to Mandalin's Rift. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. I mean, who um, knows? Maybe we'll b- bump into Shadow Kai on the way here. Yeah. It's a non zero percent chance, is all I'm saying. Uh, guys, I think I'm going to call it there. Okay. Um, right. I have a good direction of what's going to be happening next, so now I can plan around it more easily. Cool. Um, I'm glad you guys uh, figure out the teleportation stuff somewhat. Yes. Still mm-hmm. stuff about it, but, you know. Oh, that was fun. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll just get some comment next time. Good. Oh, Sorry, I'll, I'll do okay. my Bruce Almighty yesterday. 